uh, you know, um, I've like been involved with the improv scene for like a year, and like your name has come up a lot in LA. Like, um, I hear you're like one of the most famous improvisers in LA. Yeah, for whatever that's worth. Uh huh. No, I've <laughs> seen you. You're a really great in improviser. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so do you want to tell us about the teams you're on right now? Sure, yeah. I have uh, a few different regular shows that I'm in. Um, I, uh, I have a show called Dasariski, and that's a show that's been running for over 10 years now. Uh, and it's a couple guys that I've known for almost 20 years. So that's me and two other gentlemen, Bob Dassey and Rich Tallarico. It's a three-man improv show. I do another show with Bob Dassey and uh, two ladies, Jean Villapique and Tammy Sayer, called Quartet. Uh, that's at the IOS, Dasariski is at the UCB Theater. And then I sit in in a number of other shows, the Armando Show at uh, IOS, Saturdays at 9, uh, sometimes at ASCAT at UCB, which is a similar format uh, to Armando. And, you know, whenever, wherever I get to play, I'm happy. But those are the regular shows. Do you want me to go in with you first? <laughs> well, we've got a 50-50 shot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell if it's like a skirt or weird culotte pants or what these people wear? Yeah, I thought the sign for men was pretty universal. <laughs> 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 Except you don't want them. <laughs> Do you think we should just go in together and then we'll guarantee that one of us is right? <laughs> <laughs> No, culturally, they're so anti-woman here. <laughs> I've, I've seen their pornography. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> A lot of times. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you. You're really great. Um, how did you first um, get involved with improv? Well, I was uh, a theater major at the College of William and Mary, Williamsburg, Virginia. And... Uh, there was an improv group there called uh, IT, or IT, uh, just short for Improvisational Theater. And uh, I remember seeing them when I was a freshman. They were doing a show, just like an impromptu show, in the middle of the cafeteria, wow. uh, or like the lounge outside the cafeteria. I'm not sure if it was even sanctioned by the school. Uh, and I really thought they were amazing and hilarious. Uh, it was the first exposure to any sort of improv. It was mostly games, playing short form games. Uh, and I didn't join the group till my junior year, so two years later, because I was too intimidated uh, to even audition. Uh, and by that point, I had become friends with a lot of the people in the group uh, at that point. And I think I had a terrible audition, but they let me in because they thought I was cool or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I kind of learned on the job. And, you know, it's one of the things that I forget sometimes when I teach people of just how nerve-wracking it is to improvise and how scary it can be. Uh, so, I, you know, sometimes I need to go back and plant myself in the brain of that 20-year-old who was doing it in college all those years ago and remember what people are, are going through. Because uh, I have that comfort level and confidence that comes from having done it successfully for a while, but, you know, my students are the people who are in their first, you know, year or two of learning the art form. It can be a difficult beast to oh, master. Sure. <laughs> we don't, we don't want to, you know. Right. Okay. You don't want to over sell it. You don't want to. I don't want to over. Don't want to under. And believe me, that was first year. First year, I was, I was over and undering every speech, and I barely got promoted to second year head intern. Yep. Greg, are you sleeping? All right, so <laughs> juggling, you know. Yeah. So maybe you pour yourself three cups of coffee within the scene. Um, yeah, again, I'm like it's not necessarily about writing the speech. However, if you need to reinvigorate the scene of just like, you know, what's the next talking point in the speech? You know, so that will allow you to get specific about that. Yeah, um, I really love improv. I really love going to watch it here. I feel that like either on stage as an improviser or even in the audience, you're really getting into the moment. Yeah, well, improv is a uniquely live art form. And a lot of times people say to me, I'm like, oh, I wish, you know, improv should be on TV, improv should be in movies. 
And I'm like, yeah, I think improvisers should be on TV. I think improvisers should be in movies. I think there should be elements of improv there. I like writing that is derived from improv. But improv in the sense that we're talking about it as a live performance medium, long form improv that takes place in front of an audience, you get a suggestion, you create something for a half an hour to an hour, and then the lights go out, you take a bow, and then that moment is gone, never again to come back. That's a unique thing, and it's its own thing. Mm -hmm.